Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed Season 3, Episode 14, Under Ugh. the Scales. Ugh. Trees. Ugh. Honestly. Viper got teleported away bolded, with freaking would be a perfectly good excuse Draco and uh, Uber, I believe. He didn't think again, considering he placed it in such a place that was... All thanks to Jones Turner, who fought on Mephilus. Well, fought Mephilus. More could be say, got his ass uh, utterly handed to him on a silver platter from Mephilus. That. Now then, I believe those two fools have already beaten us to it. Eh, no matter. I can have them all warmed up for Master Me. <laughs> what? Don't play Element yeah. Booster. <sighs> what? What was that? Your body resisted you. <sighs> Never mind. I have more important things to focus on. Sure, because Viper's body hasn't. That w Who has said that? Hmm? We haven't seen sights of Viper's body resisting him at all in this series. Then again, we didn't see him for most of season two, so as far as we know, he could have been fighting, that, fighting those demons. People say Spectre just went into the background, looks at Viper. I mean, granted, season two was more focused on the Baryon, so he had a reason to be in the background, but it's one of those things where it's like, huh, you know, you say X, but what about Y? Also, Mephilus took over Marcus's body after taking over Bloody Jones for like five minutes and getting all the information he needed. Just for a generic recap. Hope you don't take too much time in there, Nate. The sooner you get out of there, the sooner we can leave before... <sighs> Finally. The temple at last. Me and my big mouth. Hmm. Oh, and what are the chances? I already have a playmate. Hello, Greendale. Viper. Surprised to see me? <laughs> Not really. I had a feeling that either you or your master would eventually find their way here. Unfortunately for you, though, this is as far as you're getting. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> you know, a part of me is... Kinda glad that you're playing the role as God Dog. I mean, mm. the other person you were with, I hardly know. But you? <laughs> I've known you since the very beginning. Way before you were recruited into the Lancers. It's been ages since our last duel, and I have been dying to claim the opportunity for a rematch. <laughs> you know? It's funny. I was going to say the exact same thing. Regardless of the outcome, that's one thing we can agree on. Speaking of whom, where is your little partner? I've been meaning to get the both of you after all. Well, to answer your question, you're too late. He's already in that temple as we speak, trying to claim that god card. Hmm. <laughs> no matter. I'll deal with him as soon as he comes back out again. <clears throat> well, assuming he actually does manage to get his hands on that god card... Good luck with that. Yeah, you may be Although, too late. you'll have to deal with me first. Please, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now then, what did I say during our first duel? Ah, yes, now I remember. Viper, I am Draco Greendale, and I will defeat you. Duel! duel! I don't remember their last duel, Just but I'm pretty like sure it ended time, in a draw, I knowing Unleashed. Move. I draw! Hmm. Interesting. I'll start with my field spell card, Venerex Danger Zone! Venerex? That's new. Hmm. Change your deck? Correct. Well, a lot can happen in a few months. <laughs> Although in my case, it's felt like years. Now, I summon Venerex Viper from my hand. Next, since I control a Venerex monster, I can special summon my Venerex Lizard from my hand as well. And by doing so, I can add another Venerex monster to my hand. Now, with these two monsters, I shall build the overlay network. 
Xyz Summon, rank 3, Venerex Dart Frog. When this card is Xyz Summoned while Danger Zone is on my field, you take 700 points of damage. Mm. <clears throat> Ugh, damn solid mass. That'll do for now. I set two cards face down and in my Solid mass is illegal. <laughs> That's it. One monster and burn. I expected more from you, Viper. Ooh, getting cocky now, are we? Well, if you feel that way, then you should have no problem apprehending me on this next turn. That's right. I can't get too overconfident. Not after everything he's done. Use your silent light now. It's my move, then. Eaten, I uh, draw. Draco. Okay. To start off, I play Green Eyes Xyz and Green Eyes Synchron in my Pendulum Zone. Mm. Oh, starting off strong now, are we? Just Indeed. the way I like it. But before I call out the cavalry, I'll activate Green Eyes Xyz's special ability. Now I can banish a monster from my extra deck Green in order Paladin. to add two cards to my hand. Now, pendulum time! With these two, I pendulum summon Green Eyes Grey Dragon and Green Eyes Pulse Dragon! <clears throat> no surprise there. Now, with these two, I think I'll bring out an old favorite. I, too, build the Overlay Network, and Xyz Summon Rank 6, Green Eyes Utopic Dragon! Nice to see it again. Oh, Utopic Dragon. Man, it's been ages since I've seen that monster. I know, right? In fact, I don't think you've used it since the Lancer Tournament. Mm. Then I'm sure you remember what he does. I use up this monster's overlay unit to take control of your dark frog. I haven't seen him no, in so you. long, I and I'm sure trap. you know what he does. Go. Venerex Paralysis. Now, any monster you Let's... control that has a Venerex counter is negated, and this effect stays until the end of the turn. What? And let me guess, because of that field spell, my monster has a Venerex counter. Duh. <gasps> How did you know? Well, now that I think about it, you've always had a way with, um... Counters. counters. I mean, first the Reptilian, then Venoms, and now these guys. You have almost as much of fetish Regardless, for counters as brains. May be gone, but it can still attack and destroy your Dart Frog. <laughs> no thanks. I activate my Dart Frog special ability. By using up an overlay unit, I can reduce your monster's attack points by a thousand. And then my monster gains that lost attack. Counter attack! Go, my dot frog! Great, it's Destroy Chimera Reflesia. Dragon! Go, corrosive lance! Get us on the back foot. Enjoying that shadow magic, Mr. Greendale? Once this shadow game is complete, your soul shall be claimed by the shadow realm. Would you quit it with that stuff? I mean, honestly, I may have fell for it for a time, but. Ugh. The ignorance of you humans is astonishing. I mean, isn't the pain you're taking proof enough? This shadow game is as real as you or I. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. <sighs> Since Utopic Dragon was destroyed, I can summon the original Green Eyes from my graveyard. Indeed, Then, yes. moving on to my second main phase, I'll activate the Pendulum ability of Green Eyes Synchron, letting me summon it to the field. Oh, so you can use them for a synchro summon? No, thank you. Mm. From my hand, I play Venerex Paralyzing Tick. What? Par what? Let me explain. You see, I can equip this monster from my hand to one of your monsters. Now, not only is that card's effect negated, but it cannot be used for the material of an extra deck summon. Ah. So no synchro summoning for you. Ugh. That's as broken as a new Spellbound card. Fine then. Plan B. From my hand, I activate the continuous spell Green Eyes Observation. If not less so. With this spell card, I can now destroy your paralyzing tick, freeing my monster from its grasp. Wait. Ho ah! oh. Damn nice it. move. On top of that, this spell also protects all of my monsters from being destroyed by your card effects. You know, it's a shame you didn't use that earlier. You could have destroyed one of my face-down cards. Well, it's a good thing I didn't, because now I can tune my level 2 Synchron and level 6 Green Eyes together. You really a misplay Synchro if it gets you a better play. Green Eyes, 
Starlight Dragon! Oh, I remember this monster. Yeah. Take it's a the card draw. that screwed you over in our last duel, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. However, history will not repeat itself. I play another Venerex Paralyzing Tick. What? Ah. But you already used that monster. Yes, I did, and this is a second copy. You see, when you special summon a monster, I can banish the one I just used from my graveyard to add another one to my hand. So that's and why now, he this drew. one is equipped to your monster, thus making sure its effects It's not a once per again. turn, just like the new mm. Spellbound card. And because my monster gained a Venerex counter, it's... Sorry, I just really do not like the new card. Back. I'll stop talking about it now. Fine, I set one card face down. Your move. Oh, is it my turn already? Draw. Ooh, lucky. I banish Venerex Paralysis from my graveyard in order to summon my Venerex Viper back to the field without its effects. Mm. Then I summon Venerex Nettlebush from my hand. But neither of these two will be staying for long because with Nettlebush's ability, I can fuse both of them together. Yeah. Oh, great. I hope you don't hate bugs, Greendale. Because this bug hates you. I fusion summon Venerex Giant Wasp. These monsters are fitting for the swamp. Creepy. You're too kind. I guess we're in a forest, so now, pretty close. I'll move straight into battle. Go, my dot frog. Attack Starlight Dragon. No, thank you. I activate my trap, Green Eyes Rampage. This lets me destroy all of your attacking monsters. Nice. <laughs> my dot frog, maybe. Ooh! But thanks to Venerex Viper, being used as a fusion material for my giant wasp, it cannot be destroyed by spell or traps. Mm. Ugh, damn it. And I'm afraid it gets worse. Since my wasp is battling a monster with a Venerex counter, I can bounce it right back to your hand. <laughs> what? No! Well... Not good. Since my monster left the field, the original Green Eyes once again returns. <laughs> Annoying. But, oh well, it works for me. I mean, mm. not only can I use my tick now to add another one to my hand. You only have three. But, long story short, since you summoned a monster, my wasp gains an additional 400 attack points. Now, destroy that dragon with Buzzing Brigade. <clears throat> Ugh. And before I end my turn, I'll just assure that you don't use that pendulum card anymore, along with that pitiful spell to protect your monsters. I banish my Venerex Viper from the graveyard to use its other ability, allowing me to destroy both of those cards. What? Ah! <laughs> he hasn't revealed that freaking you know, bushes you really effect yet. Done that before battling Viper. Ah, really? Why? Because since my observation was destroyed. Guess who I get to bring back? And I get to draw a bonus card on top of that. <sighs> You're really fond of that card, aren't you? Indeed I am. Although, perhaps you could see it as Green Eyes having the same goal as me. You can keep knocking us down over and over again, but we'll just keep coming back until you're defeated for good, trying every new trick that we can come up with. <sighs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Just please spare me the lecture, Greendale. I've, I've already heard it all before. Oh, I'm sure you have, but have you ever thought when would be the last time you hear those words? <laughs> never gonna happen. I end my turn. Never say never, never, say Viper. never Viper. Don't! Everything has its end eventually. Even you. I have Draw. the fucking script. Now then. For starters, I think I should thank you for clearing up my pendulum zone, because now I can replenish it. Viper, meet Green Eyes Meteor Dragon and Green Eyes Dragon Scroll! Oh my. Ah, so that's what you added to your hand in the previous turn. Hmm. So you actually anticipated that I'd get rid of both your pendulum cards. The scroll so just reminds me of science and magic. Case. Clever. Indeed. Maybe a bit of a shout out to I'll it. I'll use them straight away for my pendulum summon. I pendulum summon from my Percaeus's Green Eyes Xyz and Green Eyes Synchron. <laughs> Not so fast. You won't be using one of those monsters. 
Venerex paralyzing tick. Go! Not this time. I activate the pendulum ability of Green Eyes Dragon Scroll. Since you activated a monster effect from your hand during my turn, I can negate that effect. Ooh. Nice. Ugh. And you now can't that my cycle through anymore. Free, I'll equip my monster with Green Eyes Inspirited. This gives my Green Eyes Great Dragon an additional 400 attack points. Mm. Not that it matters, though, because he won't be around for much longer. Mm. I now activate the Pendulum ability of Green Eyes Meteor Dragon, letting me fuse him with my Green Eyes Exceeds. Oh. Fusion Summon! Come forth! Green Eyes Mondas Dragon! Nice. <laughs> Why bother playing that equip spell if your monster wasn't going to stay on the field? It has another because effect. Because that same equip spell, when sent to the graveyard, lets me summon a Green Eyes Spirit Token, which Ooh. I can tune with my Synchron. I Synchro Summon Green Eyes Dragon Archfiend! Ah, clever. But even though you have managed to get out two fancy monsters, then my no giant wasp is getting stronger and stronger. Wasp. Thanks to all your special summoning, it's way stronger than ever before. Well, it's a good thing I won't have to deal with him for much longer. Now, I activate Green Eyes Mondas' ability. By removing a Green Eyes monster from my graveyard, I get to reduce your monster's attack by that banished card. Oh, boo hoo, it's not like I can still return your monsters to the hand. Sorry, but your monster's battling days are over. Archfiend, activate your special ability. I banish another Green Eyes monster to destroy all monsters you control with less attack than that banished card. What? Oh, oh no! But my monster Viper, is stronger than that banished card. Defanged. Go, my monster! Maybe meant less defense. Attack his light points or you say less defense, and I wasn't paying attention. It's not over yet. Go, you trap, your player. Venerex, quarantine. Now the damage I take from your counter-possessed monsters is cut in half. Also, oh, it allows COVID to come back into the ecosystem. Why am I not surprised? Lock down, everyone. Excuse me, so I'm gonna get fly for disinformation just for that joke. His jokes are information now. Well, Greendale was making a comeback, but shut down immediately. Can Draco overcome again, or will he fail? We'll see. And now part two of Under the Scales, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Only Season 3, Episode 14. What are you laughing about? Is something supposed to be funny? Oh, sorry. Forgive me, Mr. Greendale. It's just... Well... <laughs> this takes me back. This this really does take me back. I mean, what an improvement you've become. To think, at the very beginning of this match, and during our previous duel, you could barely touch me, and now, here you are, backing me into a corner. I must admit, I am quite impressed. In fact, I've always felt that you were quite special among the many Lancer duelists that I have battled over the years. Flattering. However, as you just put earlier, all things must come to an end, such as your life. Hm. I end my turn. Now, during your end phase, the other ability of my Venerex Quarantine activates. Now, I can summon monsters from my graveyard up to the number of monsters you control. You control it two, spreads like so monkey I can pox resurrect my Venerex without the gay metal sex. bush and my lizard. <sighs> Great. Now, on with my turn. Draw! <laughs> okay. You remember my Venom Curdle, don't you, Greendale? It lets me tribute a reptile-type monster to draw two cards. So you kept that card in your deck. Lucky. Eh, I guess I if I had a good staple down, card like that, I'd keep it too. My Venerex Scavenger. A good card this is a good card, regardless of arch types. Three Venerex monsters from my graveyard, and then I get to draw three cards. Hmm. <laughs> is disposing of your graveyard like that really worth it to draw a couple of cards? Yes, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! The graveyard is a second hand. More than you know. What? You'll find out. Assuming you survive this turn, 
I activate my face down card, Venerect. Now, I can mm -hmm. destroy all monsters you control with Venerex counters. No need. No you matter. Gotten rid of that field you know who's now returning to my field. True, but he won't be staying there for long. I activate a another third, spell a fourth card from tick. my hand. Venerex Hallucination. This allows me to take control of your green eyes. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes, how ironic. Your best monster betraying you. He has turned to the dark side. Quite literally in this case, since he now becomes a dark monster. That's good for me, since I'm now activating my spell, Venerex Fusion, letting me uh. use your green eyes with my nettle bush. Here we go again. Yeah, right. Now, you're not the only one who has a few dragons up his sleeve. I fusion summon Starving Venom Fusion Dragon! Mm. You know, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you too have a Dimension Dragon of your own. I'm you surprised not one of those. That one. Disgusting <laughs> uh, reincarnations. Yes. How kind of Master Mephilus to give me my favorite at the four dimension. I don't mean disgusting as in as it's like bad or anything like that. Like, you know, as a derogatory term, it's just like, now then, how, what have you done? Sort of like disgusting, that I took you know? Of was used as a fusion material. My hallucination allows me to draw one card. Now, Starving Venom, attack his life points directly and dispose of him, consuming Venom Surge. You really think it's going to so be that fast. easy? Green Eyes Meteor Dragon's second pendulum ability activates. By sacrificing it, he can intercept your monster's attack. Wasn't this thing <laughs> used up for fusion Looks material? Like my assumption was correct. Unfortunately, Mr. Greendale, this is where your luck ends. Oh yeah? And why is that? Because of one simple reason. This face-down card, which I am setting... If you can't find a way to get around it, then I assure you, my next turn will be your last. To you. <laughs> we'll see about that. Draw. Disgusting. I'm sorry, pardon? You heard me. I mean, it's bad enough that your master created fake versions of the legendary duelist dimension dragons, but to mass produce them, to weaponize them, it's going against everything you just stand for. It's Draco it's was a you your fanboy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Be grateful it's not the odd eyes. Does it look like I care? These mm. dragons were originally created for one purpose and one purpose only to destroy. <laughs> No, to entertain. Does it matter that they were originally owned by some snot no Santa Claus head punk? <laughs> that punk has forgotten more about dueling than you will ever know. And besides, if you actually saw the duels he participated in with these cards, you would understand. In every performance and action duel he participated in after the war, he never treated them like weapons. He used them to bring countless smiles and happiness and joy to everyone, everyone who watched him. Despite their malefic origins, he never framed them as such. He used them to remind people of the true meaning of a duel, and the fact that not only your master has recreated cards that were so special, but also weaponized them, it just makes me sick. These aren't the Dimension Dragons, they're fanfiction. Fanfiction created by your disrespectful master. Wow, this Yuya is fanfiction. You and the other legendary duelists have inspired me in more ways than one. And I cannot allow you to spit on their legacy in such a disrespectful manner. <sighs> okay, first of all, people like you never gave respect to duel spirits such as me and the rest of my brethren. So why should we treat some nobody with the same respect? Second of all, Greendale, you forget that this dragon in particular was used for the exact opposite reason. <laughs> and yet, in the duels he used this monster in, it was some of the most beautiful scenery I'd ever seen. 
Despite Starving Venom's cruel origins, he never used it as a weapon. He never treated it as such. He made something beautiful out of something horrible. Look, I would love to listen to more of your bootleg poetry, but quite frankly, I don't care. It would be nice to see some if of those tools to pack it up. With your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Very well then, Viper. Now, with no monsters on my field, I can special summon Knights with Eyes of Green. Mm. I activate this monster's effect by returning my Green Eyes Dragon Scroll from my Pendulum Zone back to my hand. I can now increase or reduce this monster's level by two. I choose to increase its level, making it a level six monster. Okay. Then, I normal summon my Green Eyes Dragon Scroll from my hand. And by mm. doing so, I can add yet another green eye spell or trap to my hand. <sighs> Let me guess. Another synchro summon? Unfortunately, no. My knight cannot be used as a synchro material since its level is higher. But mm. I can tribute my dragon scroll in order to summon a monster from my graveyard. I'm sure you already know which one. Green eyes. Xyz Shokan. You know... Doesn't your monster ever get tired of constantly being revived from the graveyard? The spirit of Green Eyes never rests until its opponent is defeated. <laughs> I bet that's not what he's saying. Now, with these two monsters, I built the overlay network once more. XC summon Green Eyes Photon Dragon. Hmm. What are you smiling about? <sighs> you know what? I'm starting to get bored of this. I think it's about this time music. that I end this duel. That face down. Bored? Seriously? <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Greendale, but... I heard that music before an era of dueling. You really should have taken my advice and got rid of my face down card while you had the chance. What? Because now it's about to dig your grave. Wanna bet? I don't take bets. I make results! I activate the face down card! Super polymerization! No. What? No. That's impossible! Correction! Very possible! I discard a card in order to fusion summon using my starving venom and your photon dragon! Oh. What could Let you be guess. using? Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon? No. no. I something, something much else worse. In mind. <laughs> From the depths of the very meaning of the word fusion, I bring forth the most powerful predator of all. As terrifying as a spider, more toxic than a blue ringed octopus, strikes faster than a king cobra. And a terrifying attitude more destructive than any dragon seen before. I fusion summon the ultimate predator. I fusion summon Starving Venerex Fusion Dragon! I knew that was the pun. You disgust me with every fiber of your being. Oh, come on. You're not impressed? No. I'm not. If anything, why should I be impressed by that graffiti? Recreating the cards themselves is one thing. Mass producing them is another thing, but making these these disgusting looking upgrades. This this is strike three. You just have to find You're out. every possible way to make me hate your organization, don't you? Couldn't play along. You just had to ruin the mood, don't you? Yeah. Well, since my monster left the field, you know who's coming back. Green eyes. Now, okay, let's think. I imagine Card Green eyes trying to come back like Utopia at the end of Nash versus uh, Yuya. Uh, no, you, no, I mean knight. Nash versus Yuma. That, just like being a broken bandage. Them together in order and then it goes into freaking Utopia Beyond. Dragon. That ought to give him a run for his money. Draco, explain okay, the plan then. means it's going to fail. <sighs> hmm? Great, 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 Dale. Don't, 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 stop, stop, man. <sighs> what? What?
Whatever has happened? Viper, did... Did you take a few hits to the head or something? What's going on? Nothing. So, <laughs> your move? Hmm, something's not right here. Why would he try to warn me? There's no way he would try to skip out on the wind like that. So what should I do? Should I... No, no, I, I can't just listen to him. He's probably trying to trick me. He'll no. take any opportunity to try and get the upper hand. But... You see how I came to that conclusion, though. What if this is just like the Lancer tournament with that? What if that wasn't the Viper, volcanic rat? The person he was controlling. Should I really risk the chance of losing this? I was like, I remember that, but I can't out? remember Draco versus Viper. I guess I care about the characters more than the duels. I end my turn. Is that better or worse wow. for Yu Gi Oh series? You must be just as eager to get this over mm. with as I am. No matter. This card isn't any help to me now, but... Eh. Oh well. It's not like I need it for this scenario. Now, I shall activate my Starving Venerex's special ability. Oh yeah? What's it gonna do? Make you a ham sandwich? <laughs> oh, no. It just allows me to... Uh, okay, let's see what... Um, first, it lets me summon any fusion monster back from my graveyard, yeah. like my giant wasp. Then it gives my giant wasp a Venerex counter. Why would it want a Venerex counter? And any counter? monster on the field that has a Venerex counter is negated. The so trade-off being, it? Starving Venerex gains those monsters' abilities for himself. Let's... Along with the attack points of my special summoned card until the end of the turn. Good lord. <sighs> that thing has over 6,000 attack points. Now... Starving Venerex, sweep his monster back to the hand! It's been fun while it lasted, Greendale. You can attack but again. But now it's about time that I do what I should have done a long time ago. Starving Venerex, end this duel. Attack him directly with consuming Venerex soul! And that... As they say, is that. Nice. You can't shake me that easily. Yeah. You never could. Oh, so you actually managed to survive. Green you can thank my Curry old friend for that. Curry Plasma. No, no, By discarding him from my hand, I don't take any damage and I get to draw a card. Nice. Oh well, looks like this will be of use to me after all. I set one card and end my turn. Lucky for you, my giant wasp can't attack. My turn. Mm. I draw! Okay, Viper. It's time for me to end this! <laughs> oh, if I had a penny for every time I heard that from someone like you, Greendale. That never happens. Never! Do you know why? Because me and the organization... We are always one step ahead of you, Lancers. How do you You're mean? Right. You are always one step ahead of us, somehow. But, you know what? We're still here, aren't we? We're, we're ahead of you fighting. in god hunting. We have one, while well, you have if zero. If we have to get to Zark himself, we will find a way to defeat you. And I don't mean I. We. Now. Now then. I summon the Green Stone of Legend and activate its- Access denied. What? what? Sorry, but no can do. Remember, all cards on the field with Venerex counters are negated, this including yours. Spell. And remember, my danger zone adds a Venerex counter to any monster you summon. Wait, you what? Damn it! So that means- if I had actually summoned my monster on the previous turn, I wouldn't have been able to activate its effects since it would have been negated. And, well, he could have potentially beaten me. I mean, you still have the current plasma, but... What am I supposed to do now? Any card I summon will be negated. Not you to need an element his own booster. Not gain those powers for himself. And since he has that wasp special abilities, the more monsters I summon, the stronger it gets. 
What else am I supposed to do? I've pretty much used everything against him. Ugh, but I can't give up. Not while I'm this close. But what can I do? Hmm? Unless... Unless... <laughs> It was a pretty nice try. I mean, I see what you were going to do there. Summon your green eyes straight from your hand and then go into another monster, I assume. Well, unfortunately, that will no longer work. <laughs> hmm. Could it be time? I mean, I haven't really tested it out yet, but... <sighs> it's not like I have any other options. Oh well, better late than never. In fact, I'd say just about everything you try now will no longer work. No more tricks, Draco Greendale. I know Incorrect. just about every move you're going to make and then some. Just You've already about. used up most of your tricks anyway. Most? That isn't quite correct. I haven't tried every trick. I still have oh, one I've been keeping in summon? reserves. What is it? Fusion? Pendulum? XCs? Synchro? I can handle it all. <laughs> You've used just about every trick in the book. Nothing can surprise me. <laughs> Is that so? Well then. Maybe it's about time I try something new. Here we go. From my hand, I activate the EXP card. Heart of Evolution! Evolution summoning? What? You're kidding. An evolution monster. But you don't control a normal monster. Okay. <laughs> Unless you're saying with the effect you negate, it's treated as one. For quite a while, actually. To think was just a needed there. to get the summoning mechanic down. Now then, I expand the DNA strand using my level six green eyes in my hand. Of course. I mean, it I've is. been waiting for the opportunity to bring out this bad boy forever. I evolution summon. Green Eyes Ultimate Dragon! What? Ultimate Dragon's... Uh, evolution monster? <laughs> no, Not gonna lie, fine. expected a ritual. Your monster isn't strong enough to finish off my life points, at least. <laughs> Not for long. I should know better from the least. an additional 300 attack points for every green eyes monster in my graveyard. <clears throat> or not. Oh, and since my ultimate dragon has a skill, not effect, it can't be negated by your starving Venerex. <laughs> What's the matter, Viper? You look worried. Scared? Me? No, of course not. I'm not scared. I'm, I'm not terrified. I'm, uh, of course not. You only have 850 life I'm points left. I'm a member of the Organization of the Forgotten. We're some of the most powerful dual spirits of all time. <laughs> Even if you do somehow manage to beat me in this duel, I will never falter. I will never fail. We survive. We always survive. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, you're right. You, lose. you do always survive. But you can never obtain true strength. And you know why? Because surviving isn't living. Green Eyes, battle! You don't think we have real power? Have you forgotten what my starving Venerex can do? <laughs> Go, return that monster to his hand! It didn't move. No, 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 well, come on, return it to the hand. Back, back, beast. Incorrect. Green Eye's ability activates. <laughs> you see, he's unaffected by all cards that are the same type as Green Eye's monsters in my graveyard. What? And your uh, Venerex is a dragon this? monster. Um, there's a Green Eye's fusion monster in my graveyard, so fusion monsters can't affect Green Eye's ah. ultimate. This is over, Viper. Green Eyes Ultimate Dragon, let's end this once and for all. Attack and destroy that inferior starving Venerex. Plasma Delta Stream! <laughs> Do 
Do you even understand half the words that are coming out of your mouth most of the time? <laughs> no matter. Activate trap, it ends in a draw. I activate my trap. Venerex breakdown! <laughs> this lets me destroy your monster and inflict damage to both our life points equal to its original attack points. Of course. You see, Mr. Greendale, I always survive. This duel is a draw! What happened? Wait, are you saying we're actually not getting a draw on Unleashed? Back! Oh, jeez, he would destroy the buildings behind, the force behind him. That's a good attention to detail. I actually did it. The ultimate dragon has been infected. I, 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 I lost? I'm just happy we didn't get another fucking draw. It's like the worst part of Unleashed, no, all the I fucking tried. draws. It should have... I, it's a pet peeve, it's one of those where it's like, you know. Why didn't? <laughs> Not this time. Just forgot to mention one last detail. By banishing an EXP card from the graveyard, Ultimate Dragon can negate a trap card's effect. Nice. I negated your trap before it got the chance to destroy my monster. Which Thus, was the sound we heard. Ending this duel in my victory. You couldn't lost. survive. Yep. How the tables have turned indeed. At first I feared the possibility of being at your mercy, as well as Mephilus's. And yet, here you are at mine. So, are you gonna come quietly? You! Viper, what game are you play- Wait, He's not on. Viper. You're not Viper, are you? He's Viper's body. You must be the person who- Body he's possessing. Yes. Huh. I, I don't know what to say. Ah, who am I kidding? Probably just because we're scary. so close to the temple. I guess I owe you one. I mean, if it was you know what the gods do to the spirits. I could have potentially lost, or this duel could have ended in a draw. Don't mention it. But how are you even alive? I thought that Viper would have destroyed your soul or something. That is the case for the unfortunate. But not every soul can be obliterated so easily. You're made of stronger There's stuff. There's a slight chance that a strong enough soul, a strong enough heart, would be able to not just cling on to dear life from Mephilus' influence and from the influence of his dual spirits, but, but even resist their powers of possession. Wait. So, so, so does that mean every... Every dual spirit? Like, everybody that... Every person that Mephilus has possessed and his dual spirits have possessed, they could... They could still potentially be alive? Possibly. Although I can't say for sure. Not likely for all of them. Oh, God. It's... I... Because... Oh, sorry. Oh, God. That was a rarity. Listen... The reason why I've remained dormant for this long... I think they'd rather be dead than be because a puppet. because has been using some of his power in order to prevent me from surfacing, from taking over Viper. But, as of recently, that seal has been cracked. But, <sighs> but why? 
Why would he go through such measures just to keep you dormant? What's so special about you? Who are you even? Let's just say I'm a very Im imp Listen, I can't keep him back for much longer. You, you must stop, Mephilus. You. We plan uh, to. No, wait, not yet. I need. As soon as the door opens, it slams shut. So that's what's going on. It appears this house is still infested with rodents. No matter. They'll all be exterminated soon. Oh yeah? Well, sorry to say, Viper, you won't be around for that long. What are you doing? <laughs> and by the looks of it, neither will you, Mr. Greendale. What? Oh, really? And you're gonna stop me? I don't have to. He will. Oh great, he heard the theme song coming. The lives and the loves and the songs are what matter. Mephilus. I'll tend to the flames, you can worship the ashes. Great, he's getting his own song. Who are you? Buy the hit single now on Wait. iTunes. No. Mephilus? Draco Greendale. So, ready for wave two? Draco is in serious trouble if he's going against Mephilus. I don't doubt that Draco would put up an excellent fight, and I said before that I believe that Hugo would be able to take on Mephilus, and I think the same is true for Draco, but it would be a bit, it would be an extremely uphill battle like <laughs> it's going up by 90 degree angle no not even a 90 degree angle 270 degrees if, if even that actually 90 degree angle is that i believe well, you know what i'm trying to say here it's like you're go th this you're on this side just to absolutely idiot proof this but anyway yeah Good for Draco, he finally got one up on Viper, and <laughs> finally, a fucking Unleashed duel that isn't in a draw. I know that there's like a minority of the duels that isn't in a draw, but like I said, I know not every episode of Unleashed has a draw at the end of its bus, you know. It happens enough you're like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> it, it got just almost as bad as freaking like, I don't know, 5Ds or Vrains, but they're not as bad as Vrains for the recap episode. Just one of those where it's just like, it's getting really, really old really fast. But it's nice to just see when it's like, you think it's going to be a draw? Nope. I wanted to think that. And the AXP cards and all the freaking extra summonings and all that stuff was just freaking phenomenal. Epic duel with epic stuff going on. So, yeah. <laughs> so far, I think this might have been my favorite season 3, but I'd have to go through it again to be sure. But, again, always a great time. But it's Unleashed, so it's always a great time in my opinion. Hmm. I can wait for episode 15's part 1 and 2 to come out, so who knows, maybe the time this is up, part 1's already out. I wouldn't know. I can't see into the future. Yet. But until next time, yeah. Later.